Well, obviously, everybody can figure out what day it is <laughs> if you're seeing our faces up on your screen. So, happy motherfucking Monday. We're going to flip the script here and say that first. Happy motherfucking Monday, happy everybody. Happy Monday, everybody. Yeah. So, last week, we started a segment where we started diving, and we were going deep. Pretty motherfucking deep. We started discussing about sea monsters, and we discussed the sea serpent last week. Yeah, Andy, oh my god. Let, let, just a quick little round of applause, because if you didn't see this, y'all need to go back right now to stop this video and go right on back, because he just gave us a beautiful, amazing Oscar Emmy winning award performance of a stressed out oarfish, my guy. He was amazing last week. For, for, look, oh my god. <laughs> now we're busting out the dance moves. It's serious up in here. My man's going to Hollywood next. But seriously, if you if you didn't catch any of that, you really need to go back and check that out and then come right back here and continue where we left off. <laughs> and then come right back on over. Because this week, in honor of my guy, we're going to touch on the Kraken. I love the Kraken. Yes. <laughs> I know, we're going to touch on the Kraken. And for those who don't know, it's basically, I'm just going to summarize it up in a very dumbed down version of it before we jump into the facts. It's a big ass motherfucking octopus. Big as shit. Or like a squid. It, it's big as fuck. Big as fuck. That's right. So I'm going to bust out my notebook and read you some facts. Specifically for you and your Kraken. Alright? Alright. So the Kraken is a legendary sea monster who has been known to reside in the waters near Norway, Greenland, and Iceland. Or better known as the Norwegian Sea. Now I know, hold up before anybody comes back and tries to throw this in my face. I know we talked about the ocean and how there's one global ocean about the Atlantic Pacific. Alright, we ain't gonna go into seas, okay? We ain't gonna go all into that. We just need to know our main basics and our main basics. Let's go with let's go back a little bit here now, children. Let's go back over it. The Atlantic, the Pacific, the Arctic, the Indian, and the Southern. We added that fifth one in there. I don't know when exactly we didn't cover on that, but we added it. So, disregard the sea portion of it, or else I'm going to beat some ass. This deep water mystery originated from Scandinavian and Nordic folklore, dating all the way back to the 1100s. That's 1100S. That's a long ass motherfucking time ago. Could you imagine being back in the 110S and be like, what the fuck is that shit? <laughs> Just trying to get your cod, trying to provide for your family, get get you, get your village right in this fucking bitch come out the motherfucking sea, grabs your motherfucking boat, and brings you down. Because that is what the Kraken is actually known for. It is known for coming out this motherfucking deep ass fucking body of ocean. No idea what the fuck's even there. Holy shit. All right. He's okay. Um, we're going to continue now. He, he comes. Holy fuck. He comes out the ocean. And he grabs that shit. And he pulls that motherfucker down. All the way the fuck down. Just like that. Wailing and flailing and everything. Whoa, whatever fucking noise they make. Dragging that bitch down. Dragging all these sailors down to the deep doom the darkness we don't even know what the fuck's down there there could be a whole motherfucking city of krakens fuck atlantis there could be a whole goddamn city of krakens or it could be like a hole that goes to the center of the earth there's the possibilities are endless y'all that's why we're gonna have deep water discussions and it's gonna go on for a little bit but let's get back to the kraken now let's not get ahead of ourselves here so <clears throat> it is believed Sightings have originated from a species known as the giant squid. Has anybody heard of the giant squid? Yes. We have. Okay. Fantastic. Um, this species has been confirmed since 1856. Yet, records date sightings all the way back to 1550, when Danish men caught and described this creature as a sea monk. That's literally what they call it. And the reason why they called it this... It was due to its resemblance of a flowing scarlet robes of holy men. So, like, the tentacles that they... Yeah. Huh. They... The, the men back in the day was like, holy fuck. 
it's this motherfucking holy bitch, but it looks like a demon. And we're gonna call it a monk. Like, they were just, hi, Goosey, holy fuck, how you doing, girl? How you doing, girl? Shit. She said, Daddy, I'm gonna get in this podcast. Hold up. Shout out to Goosey Goo up in here. Hey, She's gonna join in with us. She... What up, bitch? Oh, Goosey. So Goosey's gonna listen about the Kraken now. So Goosey, we just heard about back in the day, a uh, giant squid was called a sea monk because of his flowing tentacles and shit like that. Goosey, hold up, she's yeah, like, shit. holy fuck, the Kraken. I'm sorry, back up. The giant squid was estimated to be anywhere from 40 to 50 feet long. That's pretty fucking big, right? The megalodon is estimated to be 60 feet long. Guess how much the Kraken? Is actually estimated to be. I don't, I don't you, know. You got any guess? Guess what do you think? She she don't know what's going on right now. All right, uh, a forever girl. <laughs> she just a hundred motherfucking feet. Oh my God, a hundred motherfucking feet. It's a big bitch. So, my question for you and the audience in Goosey Goo: Megalodon or the Kraken? Who would win? Kraken. Who's your money on? Who's your money on? I'm gonna have to agree with that shit. She, she said I like the word Kraken. All right, cause she crackled back. She said she's ready for a nap. <laughs> uh, I feel that good. She is my spirit animal. Oh. She's like I'm gonna oh, go nest now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, next. Oh my goodness. One season. And now we got bear. The other has to have it. Y'all, y'all getting special appearances today. We just gonna interrupt this podcast. I don't give a fuck. Say hi, y'all. <laughs> Say hi, Bear. Oh my. He got his nose cleaned and everything. Now, Bear wants to hear about the Kraken. That's okay. So we're just gonna keep it rolling. That's fine. All right. So I'm gonna, so we're all in agreement here that the Kraken would fuck Megalodon up, right? Hell yeah. Easily. Like, probably yeah. squish that mouth like like it would shoot at, and you know a lot of like octopuses they they can blend in to their surroundings so he would probably yeah. just could you imagine a hundred feet of fucking camouflage death like just floating around creaking in the background wait for that moment gonna get you gonna get you in case you couldn't put two and two together this motherfucker's aggressive as fuck that's why I'd be taking the ships and pulling them down and all that but I have a fun fact so have you heard like Fantasy stories, video games. Oh, Munsty! Oh my God! Oh, girl, you look so pretty. Look at you. You hear, Uncle? Look at oh him. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, she said. Oh. <laughs> look at your Uncle. Ah, uh, honey. Oh, you beautiful girl. She said, Dad. Really beautiful. I don't know. <laughs> I know we're being recorded. But I don't give a fuck. This is, That's all right. This, Uncle oh, can edit. Oh, I can get put out that of shit here. in there if you want. I gotta get out of here, Dad. I'm getting camera shot. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Special appearances from all three of Andy's fur babies, minus Butters. <laughs> you don't want her. You don't. You don't no, want we her. don't need her. She wild in sometimes. She bit my kneecap, man. Nope. <laughs> she from the streets, yo. Yeah. She likes to throw hands and everything. She, she throws. She it a down. hard one. Yeah, she is. She's she hard as hell. She scares me sometimes. Um, going back to like video games, fantasy stories. Have you ever heard like for like slaying monsters? Have you heard of like stabbing them in the heart? That's like like the only way. Yes. Sometimes like either like cutting off their head or like stabbing them in the heart. Well, octopi, which is the you know the correct term for this, have three motherfucking hearts. So I'd have to guess and say that the kraken being a species of said octopi would probably have three big ass motherfucking hearts um so yeah I feel like this bitch is like the ruler of the sea you know what I mean like I don't think anybody would uh uh like if if we're mm -mm. if I'm a sea serpent and I see this motherfucker I'm just going along I'm like oh shit that motherfucker that motherfucker gonna get me like not today shit <laughs> holy hell he took my cousin holy last week. hell watch me i sorry phyllis i'm out of here 
But yeah, man, the Kraken is probably the OG of the sea, I'm gonna have to say. Considering even, like, the area it, it resides in, that whole area was formed over 200 million years ago. That's a long-ass motherfucking time, so this bitch has probably just been... Chilling. Slow motion. Waiting. And then... Even worse of it all, where it's even located, back in the day, back when all these stories started coming about, it, it was actually this location, the Norwegian Sea, was considered the edge of the world because all these ships would go missing. So all these myths of these sea monsters, the Kraken, Sea Serpent, all this stuff started to come about because people used to think back in the day this was like the edge of the fucking world. Like, you went up, if you were gone in the Norwegian Sea, bitch, you were gone. That was a suicide mission. Yeah. So. I'm going to have to give some hella props to the Kraken for keeping it real, holding it down, and being a bad motherfucking yeah. bitch. <laughs> for real, for real. But I wanted to make sure I covered Yo Sea Monster as we continue the deep water discussions here on The Gents. And who knows what's going to drop by next time on Deep Water Discussions. That's all I got. That's all, that, that's all I got. <laughs> yep. All right, so you want to know some facts? Fuck yeah, I want to know some motherfucking facts. Okay. I'm going to prop Shoot. my leg on up here. I was getting serious. All right. So April 8th, okay, mm -hmm. 1776, the first ever okay. fire escape. You want to know what the hell that was? Yeah. It was a wooden basket. Fuck yeah, I do. Like a little... Uh, what? Yeah, a wicker basket to be exact. You know, those like, what the fuck do they do? The way you, the, the, yeah, um, and a pulley system. What the fuck? I, I could. I, that's exactly what I was picturing in my head. De -de 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 like what the fuck? My house is on I bitch, I'd just be jumping. I would just jump at that point. Fuck y'all! I break my leg. I break my leg. At least I'm out this damn house. What if you're like on the 14th floor, and all you have? I guess I'm dying. You're taking this Either wicker way, basket, I'm gonna bro. die. You taking the wicker? You taking the wicker basket? That's a strong ass fucking wicker basket. <laughs> That's what, I what if that catches fire? <laughs> like, what do you do then? Yeah, seriously. My pulley system You're catches fucked. fire as I'm going down. <laughs> then I'm fucked. fucking flying down. Basket catches on fire. Fucked. The whole fucking waiting in line for the fucked. Fucked. Only one can go. Fucked. <laughs> the whole situation is literally just fucked. <laughs> <laughs> they tried though. They tried. I gotta give them that. April eighth, uh, eighteen seventy nine. Milk sold in glass bottles for the very first time. All right, the moo moos in that sophisticated. Mm -hmm. They got Shit. fancy All with right. it. April eighth, nineteen oh four. New York City changes name of Long Acre Square to Times Square in honor of the New York oh. Times move to the area. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. That's actually very interesting. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was Times Square. I had no idea. Me too. I never knew it was anything other than Times Square. Yeah. To be honest with you. Right. See, look at that. We're leaving here educated and informed already, man. Look at that. Every day. Holy fuck. April 8th. Also, we're still kicking it with April 8th. 1994. Smoking is banned in the Pentagon and all military bases in 1994. Okay. It, I said, how you gonna sit there and tell me I can't smoke a goddamn cigarette when I'm working in the Pentagon? Are you are you out seriously? your mind? Do you know what I'll be dealing I'm with? I'm stressed. <laughs> fuck out of here. Stress the fuck out. Yeah, get the fuck out. God. My room. <laughs> keeping this ashtray. Piss off. Like the whole fucking cigar. Yep. Straight up black and mild at that point. Big fuck ass smoke, you. bitch. Every time you open up my mm. door, you coughing. All right, this is the last one for you, boy. 2019. Okay. All right. This was, oh. I was like, what the fuck? In 2019, 600 million birds. Yeah, okay. 600 million birds died, okay? Because they crashed into Chicago's buildings, the tall skyscraper buildings. Yes, a, I'm gonna, let me make sure I get their name right. Um, the Cornell Lab of Orthontology did this study. Each year, 600 million birds are dying because they're fucking plummeting into the windows. Holy shit. That's a lot of fucking That's a birds. Fuck and yo, birds. 
I've seen a bird hit a window. They do come in like at hyper speed. Like they meant business. I watched this bird on my way to work the other day. I don't know what his problem was. I really don't know what happened. But it was going. And it should have gone up. But instead of going up, it just literally dive bombed the driver's window and died right there. And I was like, Oh my god. And the driver didn't even realize. Like the person that was going, I watched it. I'm coming this way. First coming this way, and I watched his bird. Boof. And I was like, Damn. I turned to the. And he didn't even react. I was like, Did I only see that? Like. <laughs> that that could have been his first time. It's like, Not again. <laughs> this shit's getting old. <laughs> I just cleaned this window. Goddamn bird. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Should have threw dust on <laughs> it. R.I.P. Birdie shit. April 9th, 1945. NFL requires players to wear long stockings. They don't want to see their ashy ass leggings. <laughs> they said, shit, you ain't gonna put lotion on. Y'all need to cover that shit up. They said, put that shit on. It ain't right. Nobody wants to look at that. Nah. Damn. Start a fire, out. Start a fire <laughs> out in that damn field. <laughs> I feel like a fucking walrus. Uh, uh. <laughs> that was great. I was fucking gold. Bazinga! <laughs> <laughs> and none of this is scripted, y'all. Nope. I just gotta this put that raw. out there. Ain't none of this. This is fucking raw. Raw. Raw and authentic. You got it. 2012, April 9th. The Lion King becomes the highest grossing Broadway. It even beat Phantom of the Opera. Holy fuck. I have a cat named Mufasa. Yes, I didn't did. name him, but we have a cat named Mufasa. He goes by Muffy, but man, he's a moody bitch, but shit. You can't go wrong with the Lion King. You cannot go wrong. My children will watch Lion King. My children's children will watch Lion King. My children's 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 will watch Lion King. We will all. That's going to be like the, the, like, you are now officially part of this family. Raise that motherfucking bitch up in the air. Right off the back porch. Like, as soon as we get home, Look! <laughs> uh, yes, bear. Yes, the circle of life. Look at him; he is ready for it. April tenth, eighteen fifteen. This kind of like blew my mind. I, right. I didn't know about this. Mount Tambora in the Dutch East Indies experienced a catastrophic eruption, one of the worst, one of the most powerful in history. I guess you could say worst. Killing around <laughs> 71,000 people, causing global Holy. volcanic winter. So the entire world Holy experienced shit. an ice age. In 1815, wow. from this volcano. All because a volcano erupted. Y'all yeah. better chill the fuck out, that's all I gotta say. That's wild. We're gonna yeah. find out one day. Definitely will. Motherfucker bully man that's gonna be in your backyard again, I don't wanna hear it. Sabertooth Tiber coming in. I don't want to hear it. 1849, April 10th. Safety pin patent by Walter Hunt. Sold rights for $400. That's it? Yeah. And that's in oh 1849. Which blew my mind. Because, like, you know, the bank, for instance, when they robbed that shit last week. Um, yeah. They got a lot more money than that. Huh. Yeah, my guy, now, like... I imagine it's a lot, but not a lot, a lot. Yeah, safety pins became, like, a huge deal. They helped out um, in the hospitals in, in the beginning. They mm -hmm. did a, they do a lot of different things. I don't, they're very useful. Very, very useful. Absolutely. My man's gave it away, basically. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. he, he had a... I tried. He was sitting on a penny, a polished penny. A good old polished nickel. Yeah, he literally could have, like... Penny. Pass it down generation to generation, and they could have been rolling it. He fucked up. Yeah. 1912, for my wife, Titanic oh. set sail uh, from the oh. Southampton for, the, for her mating and final voyage. You can't see me, but I'm literally <laughs> on the front of the boat. <laughs> the vibes there. <laughs> it's I, I have Fabio in it right now. 
1925. Um, <laughs> the Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald was published. Really? Yeah, I love that. I love that okay. book. I love the movie. So that like that blew the fuck up. Yeah. Good ass. That's a big one. A good one. All right, so we are still in April 10th. April 10th had a lot going on. We have three more going for April 10th. Popping. This one, I was like, damn, we must have had a problem. In 1938, Jesus. New York makes syphilis tests mandatory in order to get a marriage license. They're like, we had a problem. <laughs> we had a big problem. Big issues. Y'all lying. You lying bitches. Y'all lying. Lying. Y'all passing this shit bitches. around. Can't keep it controlled. And then getting married and being like, y'all stuck with me. I ain't. I don't know what to tell you. Bitch, it don't work that way. <laughs> that ain't right. 1996. Mm. Fastest wind speed ever recorded. Not a tornado. At 253 miles an hour. And it, it wasn't a tornado? No. Shit was just flying everywhere. Oh my god. During a tropical cycle. Over um, ah. in Australia. Australia. 2019. Okay, April 10th. Okay. So. New York declares a public health emergency and compulsory vaccinations after a measles outbreak in Brooklyn. 285 cases. You know, I'm I'm noticing the trend here. How come everything's happening in New York? New York has always been number one in the trademark. All the biff boats. That's how people used to get in. That's where people used to go yeah. in order to become a U.S. citizen from other parts yeah. of the country. Yeah. Okay. It it makes sense, but it's just it's so that's where all damn. of the food, um, like fish, seafood, meat, sometime, um, you know, our clothes, the stuff that we're getting, we might not be used to. We might have a bad reaction to. April twelfth. 1877 catcher's mask first used in a baseball game first time okay i'm glad that's i'm the glad first they time. were trying to protect the face fuck yeah man that, that, shit, that shit is no joke it hurts Holy hell yeah shit. man i was a catcher growing up yeah man me too i was no got to be ready i've had a ball get stuck in my mask before yeah i was just about to say that they get wedged in there so imagine your dude, eyeball. someone had to lose an eye or something yeah they were probably like all right this is enough we see it enough this, we can't be doing this we can't be doing this shit no more we ain't gonna make money off this like, this motherfucker's eye popped out onto home plate wear a wear a fucking helmet this, this he shit hit his cool. eyeball instead of the baseball oh my fucking <laughs> i'm wearing his fucking eye right now it is all over us. Did anybody see that? <laughs> Did it? Oh, God. April 12th, 1905. <coughs> French Dog Fox. I like that name. I don't know why. The Fox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're brothers. Uh, they test their helicopter for the very first time. They built a helicopter. Okay. Yeah. Successfully? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, it went fine. It went okay. Yeah, cool. They got off the ground. Good shit. It didn't kill nobody. No eyes were lost. Yep, nope. We ain't hitting that over home plate. <laughs> April 12th, 1908. Fire at the Boston Blacking Company produced the leather dyes. Um, they sp the reason why was because the spread of by high winds kills 19 and makes 17,000 people homeless. Holy in shit. Chelsea, Massachusetts. It's more than uh, the houses we talked about last week in the tri-state tornado. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. And that's in 1908. 1934, April 12th, second highest wind ever speed. The second. Now, mind you, I told you what the oh, first wow. was. The second oh, shit. is 231, and it was recorded on Mount Washington. Okay, now that makes sense. Could you imagine going for a hike and like, buddy, we're almost to the top and all of a sudden, yo. I'd cry. Yeah, how would you hang on? How, You're how gone. Would you, you better learn how to fly. <laughs> you better fucking stick them arms out and just... I'm going to be one of those 600,000 birds. I'm going to be dead. Like, <laughs> my ass ain't going nowhere. I'm going to try to fly. To the ground. I'm going to try. I'm going to try too. 
I'm gonna try. I'm like, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing, doing it. it. I'm a bird. <laughs> I'm a plane. If I'm a bird, you're a bird. That's right, boo boo. April 13th, 1796. First elephant arrives in the U.S. from India. Okay, Elefante. Hey, what up? I wonder what his name was. I'm, I'm gonna have to look that up. I'll get back to you on that because I'm not too sure. I wonder what its name was. That's yeah, a good question. It's a really good question. We'll get back to that. Yeah, don't you worry. To be continued. We'll find that one out. <laughs> so, hold my wife <laughs> once again. April 14th. Okay, now mind you, we took our maiden voyage. Our last maiden voyage. We set sail. Yeah. Now I'm going to make sure I got this right. April 10th, four days oh, later. Shit. Four days later. Oof. Titanic hits an iceberg in 1912 on April 14th at 1140 at night mm. off Newfoundland and sinks in the early hours of April 15th. And it went down quick. Apparently, from everything I've researched too, which I think the Titanic's going to maybe possibly taking a visit onto the podcast, just saying, but... Well, I've been researching a lot because Titanic is very intriguing between the movie, the everything. Everything about it is just so intriguing, and that's why people keep going down there and trying to figure out more about it, and that's why they're fucking dead, but we'll get onto that later. But, um, it the Titanic, the movie, was very, very accurate as to the chain of events as to what actually happened that night that you're talking about. If it's, it's extremely... I don't know if you've ever actually seen the movie all the way through. Oh, My yeah. wife's never seen the movie, so we're going to have to get her up to speed with that. But the fact of the matter is, the movie is extremely accurate. And if you haven't seen it, like, you live under a rock, you need to go fucking see it. <laughs> 1935, April 14th, Black Sunday. Severe dust storm okay. ravages the U- U.S. Midwest, oh. called the Dust Bowl. I, I love it. the Dust Bowl. Okay. I knew you're going. I was like, oh, I know this one. Holy fuck, I know this one. I My educated ass. Love the Dust Bowl. I. Can- I remember learning about that. Fucking, I dove into the Dust Bowl. I'm not even joking. For like two weeks straight, every day. Holy shit. Okay. I ha- I Holy I shit. needed to know every little detail. Then I watched every single video I could <laughs> find on the Dust Bowl about the people that lived back in that day that could talk about what happened. They told me everything, everything. Meredith told you everything. She did. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite, one of them at all was this little guy. He was like in the seventies. Okay, he's old, he's on a farm. And he was so worried about his animals, his farm animals, they were inside this shelter he had. And this dust bowl had been going on for a long time at this point. And it was building up to the point he couldn't even get into the, the barn. He had to cut a oh hole and get inside. Like from, from where the, the dust had just built up. It's just all that shit. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so he called for help. He sent out, I guess, a homing pigeon. I don't fucking know what he sent out, but it got out, okay? And they said, we got you. These motherfuckers flew a plane, right? And they they dropped the hay barrel, okay? Quite a lot of them. And just prayed for the best. That motherfucker... (laughs) Went right through the roof and landed right by the animals. And they were like, yeah, I haven't seen food in a while. (laughs) It's just... Holy shit! Yep. Talk about pure That's one way to do fuck. it. Yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck. Uh-huh. Here we go. Bam. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thank Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa. So I wonder if they could even see the hay. Like, I think it's hay. I'm, it tastes like hay. I'm gonna <laughs> keep eating it. it. It sure is good like hay. Oh, man. Poor dust bowl. Oh, my God. <laughs> Poor dust Holy shit, man. Golly. <laughs> that all your facts? Yeah, that's it. That's the whole week, my guy. Edumacated. Edumacated up in here. Edumacated. Informs. We be laughing. We be talking. Keeping it real. Authentic. Authentic. Raw.
Yeah. Get the chef's kiss in this motherfucker. So, <clears throat> we have educated, informed, and I hope and pray by now we've at least made some of y'all laugh. Like, we're on episode 8 by now. If we haven't made you laugh by now, yeah. what the fuck? Like, <laughs> you, what the fuck? That's all I gotta say about that. But I just want to thank everybody for liking our Facebook page because if you haven't heard, we just dropped the Facebook page. Highly encourage following that, liking that, because we're going to be posting not only just our content, but we're going to be posting updates. We're going to be asking questions. We're going to post you the personal lives of the gents. You want to see more of us. And we we want to see, see more, more of you. you. Exactly. We want to know what you guys want to know. We want to hear from you. We want to hear your feedback. That's we want to you hear know, your questions. Constructive criticism. Yeah. All of it. We want to hear it all. Hear so you like got. us on Facebook. Yes. Anything. Come on. Bring it. We don't give a fuck. Drop it. As you can see, we don't give a damn. Have, Messages on there. You got a anything. question. Even if Seriously. you got ghost stories, whatever you got to tell us. Life experiences. Anything. Anything. Anything, anything yes. at all. We may just sit here and inform and educate, but at the end of the day, we're all about making people laugh and making about making you all feel better because I think everybody could use that. Everybody needs a little bit of a pick me up. We be grinding all day, every day, y'all. We need to just relax and unwind and just be for a little bit. So please, I encourage, like Andy said, message us anything you want to message us. Ask us anything you want to ask us. Follow us on Facebook. Like, comment, subscribe. And just thank you. Thank you for keeping this going. And we're going to keep it going as much as we possibly can. But with that being said, I do want to let everybody know that we are going from weekly to bi-weekly this may be good this may be bad for some of y'all but at the end of the day we're still gonna be giving you content but you know it's just that's just how it's gonna be from here on forward we got warmer weather coming up yeah. my guy and i we like to do a lot of things in the warmer weather we got a lot of work to do in the yeah, warmer we weather do. but we're gonna keep yeah we do <laughs> oh but it's all right because we're gonna still be here just bi-weekly Gives you more time to catch up on what you missed in between, more time to ask us questions, anything like that. So, with that being said, happy motherfucking Monday. Monday once again. And we will see you next time. Keep it real, guys. Peace out. We'll see you soon. Bye.